Hi everyone, this is uh, Michael with uh, PianoWithMichael.com. I want to thank you for uh, stopping by. Uh, today we are going to learn uh, Prelude uh, Opus 28 Number 7 by Frederick Chopin. Uh, now this is a series of, or this is one prelude, the easy version, uh, from uh, 24 preludes that he wrote uh, with the Opus 28. So this is Prelude Opus 28 Number 7 in A major uh, and uh, so it's going to have um, an F sharp, a C sharp, and a G sharp. Okay, so Frederick Chopin Prelude Opus 28 number 7. So if you like this video please uh, like it, uh, share it, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to uh, get notifications when I upload videos. But also please uh, visit my website pianowithmichael.com and I've got a lot of content on there that uh, will hopefully inspire you to get into music. Okay, so let's go back to um, Prelude Opus 28 number seven by Frederick Chopin uh, in A major. And again, the first thing I like to do is exercise uh, or um, learn the pieces with my right hand and then learn the pieces with my left hand and then play them together, okay? So in looking at this uh, piece by uh, Chopin, uh, we notice that the key signature is an A major. Now that means all the Fs and all the Cs and all the Gs are gonna be uh, played as sharps unless uh, notified um, with an accidental to play differently. So we're just going to assume that all the uh, F, C's, and G's are going to be played as a sharp. Okay. Now we see that the timing is 3-4, which means that the top number is 3, which means that there are 3 beats per measure. And then the bottom number 4 just means the quarter note represents the beat. Okay. So Prelude Opus 28, number 7, Frederick Chopin. Okay, so we've got the first measure, which is kind of a start-off measure, and it's just one beat, and it's going to be the thumb on E. And we're going to count that off as, uh, uh, since there's three beats per measure, it's going to be three and, okay? So that's easy. We're done. <laughs> okay, so uh, line one, measure two, uh, we've got... Uh, the C sharp with the third finger. Now that is a dotted uh, eighth note. So it's going to be an eighth note plus a sixteenth note tied together. Okay. And then, so that's going to be C sharp with the third finger. And then we see we've got the uh, fourth finger on D for a sixteenth note. Okay, and then we, we're going to use the thumb and the second finger on G sharp and B for uh, a quarter note. So three and, or two and, and then we hit that again, three and. So let's go back to the beginning of line one, measure two, and really count that off because it's kind of tricky. So we're going to go, the, we're going to do the C and then the B. So C sharp, and then the B, and then the G sharp and B. But we're gonna count as one and a, two and three and. Okay, so uh, the beginning of uh, measure two, we've got the dotted eighth note. So we're gonna count that as one and a. So one and a. So so we could actually count it off as one E and a, uh, two and three and, okay? But for simplification purposes, I'm just gonna go one and a, uh, two and three and, okay? So let's try that again. So C sharp, D, G sharp, and B, G sharp and B, okay? So one and a, uh, two and three and, okay? So uh, line one, measure three, we've got um, again the G sharp and the B with our thumb and second finger for uh, a, a half, half note, so that's gonna be two beats. One and two and, and then our fifth finger, pinky on 
F sharp. Okay, so uh, line one measure three, we got G sharp and B, one and two and, and then we got the F sharp, three and, okay? So one and two and three and, okay? So now let's go back to line, uh, let's go to line one measure four and we've got um, a D sharp this time. And again, it's a dotted, uh, dotted eighth note, which makes it an eighth note plus a sixteenth played together. And then we've got uh, on D sharp, and then we've got our second finger on E for the uh. So one and uh. So then we've got our thumb on C sharp and a pinky on A. So, and then again, C sharp and A to play together an A. Okay, so line one measure four, we've got D sharp, E, and then C sharp, A, C sharp and A. So one and a, uh, two and three and. Okay, so let's try that again. Line one measure one, we've got three and one and a, uh, two and three and one and two. Oops. Did I do that right? Let's try that again. So line one, measure one. So the E, we've got three and one and a, uh, two and three and one and two and three and one and a, uh, two and three and. Okay. So let's uh, play that again so we get comfortable with it. So line one, measure one, thumb on E. C sharp, D, G sharp, B, G sharp, B, G sharp, B, F sharp, D sharp, E, C sharp, A, C sharp, A. Okay, so. Okay, so that sounds incomplete because uh, I should have uh, arranged this where that last phrase played together. But even so, um, the end of uh, that uh, ending of the phrase uh, starts again with kind of an offbeat at the uh, end of the measure. So it is what it is. Uh, so let's go back uh, to line one measure one uh, with the left hand and we've got a quarter rest. So we just count that off as three and, okay, and then Line one, measure two, left hand, we've got uh, a quarter note E with our pinky. And then we've got an octave higher with the thumb on E. E. Okay, so uh, line one, measure two, we've got one and two and three and. Okay, so line one, measure three, we've got a dotted half note, so that's going to be the half note and then you take a half of that which would be a quarter note so you'd get uh, a half note and a quarter note so that's played as uh, three beats so uh, line one measure three we've got our thumb on E and we're gonna count that off as three beats the dotted whole note or dotted half note one and two and three and okay so now we've got line one measure four uh, our thumb, uh, excuse me, our pinky is going to be on A for a quarter note. And then we jump way up to E with our thumb. And then we hit it again. Okay. So line one measure four, we got one and two and three and. Okay. So let's try the left hand by itself. Uh, we've got the rest, so three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. Okay, so now let's uh, try putting both hands together and we'll play it nice and slow. So we've got 
our thumb on E, and then I like to get my left hand ready, even though it uh, has the rest as the first um, first measure of line one. Okay, so one, or excuse me, three and one and uh, two and three and one and two and three and one and uh, two and three and. Okay, so let's try that again. Line one, measure one. Three and one and uh, two. Oops. Line one, measure one. Three and one and uh, two and three and four. <laughs> three and one and two and three and one and uh, two. Okay, so I am going to play that uh, at a faster tempo, line one, measure one. So I kind of cheated there because I added the uh, third part, uh, last part of that phrase. So. Uh, I'm going to strict, uh, stay strictly to the notes that I re uh, see on line one. So line one, measure one. Okay, so that does sound incomplete, but uh, again, when we tie everything together, that's when the magic happens. Okay, so I think we've got that down. I'm going to play it one more time. Oops. Line one, measure one. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I want to go up an octave higher on the second uh, measure there. Okay, so let's go to uh, line two, measure one, uh, with the right hand. And it's kind of a continuation of the uh, phrase from uh, line one, but. So line two, measure one with the right hand, we've got our thumb on C sharp and A, pinky on A for uh, two beats, one and two and, and then we've got our third finger on C sharp for three and. Okay, so one and two and three and, okay? So then we've got line two, measure two. We've got uh, A sharp with our thumb. And it's again, it's that dotted eighth note. So we're gonna count that off as, uh, so we got the C with our thumb. And then we've got our second finger on B for that 16th note. And then we've got uh, B and D with our second and fourth finger. One, three, excuse me, two and three and. Okay, so let's try that again. So C sharp, B, B, D, B, D. Okay, so one and uh, two and three and. Okay, so one and uh, two and three and. Okay, so. Let's go to uh, line uh, two, measure three, and we've got, uh, again, we've got our second finger on B and our fourth finger on D for a uh, half note, so that's gonna be two beats. So one and two and, and then our thumb is gonna be on G sharp. Again, all of the Gs, uh, unless uh, indicated otherwise, is gonna be played as sharp. So thumb on G, so count that off as three and. So line two, measure three, uh, second finger on B. So B, D, and then G sharp. So one and two and three and, okay? So line two, measure four, uh, again, we've got that um, dotted eighth note, then the 16th, and then uh, the quarter notes. So thumb on G sharp for um, a dotted eighth, and then A, and then A, C sharp, A, C sharp. 
So one and uh, two and three and. Okay. So let's try that again. Uh, line two, measure one. So we got the C sharp and the A. So one and two and three and one and uh, two and three and one and two and three and one and uh, two and three and. Okay, so we've got um, our right hand finished with uh, line two. Uh, now let's go with the left hand. And it's going to be uh, our thumb on uh, E for a dotted half note, which means that it's three beats. So one and two and three and. Okay, line two, measure two. We've got our uh, pinky on the E for a quarter note. And then we've got our thumb on B and then B again. Okay, so line two, measure two. We've got E. So one and two and two and. Okay, let's try that again since I played that sloppily. Sloppy. One and two and three and. Okay, then line two, measure three. We've got uh, a dotted half note again with a B on thumb. One and two and three and. <coughs> okay, so now we're going to jump uh, all the way down to. Uh, a with our pinky for a quarter note and then another quarter note with a thumb and all the way up to E and then E again okay so A E E okay one and two and three and okay so let's go to line two measure one with the left hand, we'll count it off. Um, one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. Okay. So now let's put them together. Uh, left hand, right hands, uh, line two, measure one. C sharp and A, and then left hand is on E. And two and three and one and uh, two and three and four. Oh, one. <laughs> so let's go line two, measure two, um, C sharp or uh, A sharp and E. One and uh, two. Okay, so the timing kind of throws me off when I'm counting, um, but uh, it's important to make sure you get uh, the calculations down. Um, again, um, a lot of people, if you, if you hear it online, I just recently I saw someone perform this and it's so beautiful and so elegant, but uh, the counting um, and the uh, durations were so far from uh, from the rigidity of a metronome and it, I just found it really uh, amazing because uh, when the artists do that it just brings another color to uh, an already beautiful piece so <coughs> okay so let's go and play le a line two measure one again uh, excuse me line two again and we'll start off measure one and play um, somewhat normally <laughs> So let's go back to uh, line one, measure one. Again, I like to take um, uh, each line that I learn and then go back to the um, original um, or the start and then go up to where I've learned from and then just kind of ingrain that pattern, ingrain the notes. Okay, so line one, measure one, the E. Okay, for some reason, I still want to jump an octave higher on that. Uh, I don't know why, because uh, this is the first time I've learned this piece, so. OK. 
Okay, so um, I play that rather mechanically, and I'm going to try it again and play it with a little more emotions. Line one through a line end of line two. So line one, measure one. Okay, so now let's go to line three, uh, measure one. Um, we've got our second finger on A, and then our fourth finger on C sharp. So, and it's a whole uh, half note, so we're gonna count that as two beats. One and two and, and then we've got our thumb on E. Okay, so A and C sharp, and then E. Okay, so one and two and three and okay so let's go to line three measure two um, we've got a dotted eighth uh, note c sharp and then fourth finger on d and then we've got uh, g sharp and b and g sharp and b okay so we've got one and a two and three and so one and a two and three and okay and then line three we uh, continue that uh, g sharp with a b one and two and and then we've got our fifth finger pinky on f sharp okay so three and so line three measure three g sharp b and then F sharp. Okay, so one and two and three and. Okay, <coughs> so let's try that. Line three measure one with our uh, right hand. So we've got uh, second finger and fourth finger. One and two and three and one and a two and three and one and two and three and okay okay so let's go to line three measure one with the right hand left hand uh, it's going to be the thumb on uh, e for three beats so it's um, a dotted half note which is three beats one and two and three and Okay, so line two, line three, measure two, uh, we're going to jump all the way down with our pinky on E, quarter note, and then we're going to jump way up here uh, on E with our thumb, two and, and then again, three and. So line three, measure two, we've got the E, E. Okay, so let's check again. One and two and three and. Okay, so line three, measure three, left hand, thumb again on E, dotted half note for three beats. One and two and three and. Okay, so line three, measure one, left hand, thumb on E. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and <coughs> okay so let's uh, combine the two hands on uh, line three and we'll start off uh, measure line three measure one uh, second finger on a uh, fourth finger on uh, C sharp, or right hand, and then left hand is on E. So one and two and okay. So this um, uh, well okay. So in arranging this, um, I kind of made a mistake there, and uh, the E should have been played a, an octave lower. But anyway, well. 
deal with it. So we'll just uh, uh, make the left hand E as um, just a half note. Okay, so um, we've got one and two and one and, oops, one and two and three and one and uh, two and three and one and two and three and, okay? So one, so line three, measure one, left hand. I might have to uh, correct this before I run this out. So uh, line three, measure one, left hand is gonna be a half note with a um, quarter rest. But, so we'll go one and two and three and one and uh, two and three and one and two and three and okay so let's try uh, from the beginning uh, all the way up to the end of line three okay so line one measure one <laughs> I did the jump to the octave, uh, octave higher. So let's try that again. play that again. Uh, it's such a beautiful piece and I want to make sure I play it with uh, some emotions this time. Okay, let's go to line four, uh, measure one with the left hand, or excuse me, right hand, and a dotted uh, eighth note. So we've got D sharp with our thumb, and we've got the E, second finger, and then we're gonna do uh, A and C sharp with the third and pinky, and again, A and C sharp, okay? so. D sharp, E, A, C sharp, A, C sharp. So one and one and uh, two and three and. Let's try that again. One and uh, two and three and. Okay, so line four measure two. Uh, looks like we've got the. Um, now we've got the A sharp with the C sharp, so third finger, uh, half note, two beats. One and two and, okay, and then we jump down to uh, A sharp and C sharp, an octave down with our thumb and third finger, three and, okay? So line four measure two, a sharp and C sharp, A sharp and C sharp, okay, so <coughs> one and two and three and, okay, one and two and three and, okay, so line three, line four, measure three, we've got the continuation with the C sharp. A sharp and C sharp as a dotted eighth. So one, first finger and second finger. Then we've got a B and D. And then B and F with our thumb and pinky. And then we've got an A natural. Okay, so um, line four, measure three, we notice that the first A is A sharp. Okay, and then 
got the D, B, and D, and then the D, B, and F sharp. And this is where we use that natural to kind of lower that previous A sharp. So now it's going to be A natural with that natural sign. But if that natural sign was, wasn't there, we'd actually play it as an A sharp. Okay, so line three, line four, measure three. Uh, A sharp, C sharp, D, B and D, B and F sharp, A natural, and F sharp. <coughs> so, one and uh, two and three and. Okay, so one and uh, two and three and. Okay, so let's left hand, uh, left, line four, measure one, left hand. So we got fifth finger, pinky on A, and then jump up to E, thumb, E. Okay, so we got A, E, E. Okay, one and two and three and. Okay, so line four, measure two. We've got uh, a dotted half note, which means that it's three beats. So thumb on E, one and two and three and. Okay, so line four, measure three, we've got the B with our pinky, one and, and then our thumb on D, one, two and three and. Okay, so. So one and two and three and. Okay, so let's try that together with the right hand and left hand. Line four, measure one. So I'm just gonna get ready with um, D sharp with the thumb and A with the pinky on the left hand. Oops. So, one and uh, two and three and one and two and three and one and uh, two and three and. Okay, I like it. So, uh, line four, measure one, thumb on uh, D sharp, left hand, pinky on E. Okay, so let's go to line one, measure one, go from the beginning and go all the way to the end of line four. So now let's go to line five, uh, measure one with the left hand. Uh, we've got our thumb on G sharp and our pinky on F sharp. Okay, so our half note. So one and two and, and then we drop down to D with our thumb and G, G sharp with our third finger. Three and, so G sharp, F sharp. D and G sharp. Okay, so one and two and three and. Okay, so line five, measure two, we've got uh, D and B with a dotted eighth. So, and then we've got uh, thumb on C sharp and fourth finger on A for uh, a sixteenth note. And then we jump up to 
C sharp with our thumb and A with our pinky. And then we hit it again. Okay, so uh, D and B. And then C sharp and A. And then C sharp and A. And C sharp and A. So uh, one and, uh, oops. One and uh, two and three and. Okay, so one and uh, two, two and three and. So that's quite a jump from um, C and A to C sharp. So C sharp and A and then up uh, an octave to C sharp and A. So that will probably take a little bit of practice. So if I was just starting off in this piece, I might just fiddle around and felt my muscle memory between the two octaves there. Okay, so let's go back to line five measure two. So one and uh, two and three and. Okay, so one and one and uh, two and three and. Okay, so line five measure three, we've got the same C sharp and A with our thumb and uh, pinky. Count that off as three beats. One and two and three and. Okay, so let's go back to line five, measure one with the right hand. Right hand, we got G sharp and F, and we've got D and G sharp, and then D and B, C sharp and A, C sharp and A, C sharp and A, C sharp and A. Okay, so. One and two and three and one and uh, two and three and one and two and three and. Okay? So uh, line five, measure one with the left hand. So now we've got um, pinky on E, uh, second finger on B, and thumb on D for a dotted half note, which is three beats. And two and three and okay. Uh, so line five, measure two. We've got our pinky on A, and then we jump up an octave uh, with A and e. e. So that's another one of those big jumps. So I might practice that a few times to get my muscle memory. And then uh, uh, line five measure three is just the uh, continuation. One and two and three and so. Line five measure one, E, B and D. And then A and then A and E, A and E, A and E. So one and two and three and one and two. Okay, so line five, uh, measure one, both hands this time. So I'm going to get ready. We're going to do the G sharp and F sharp with the right hand, and then E, B, and uh, D with the left hand. So one and two. Oops. So we've got the same situation. Um, I guess I should have um, really proofread this. So we're going to do the left hand with uh, a half note and put a quarter rest in there so uh, it allows our ha left hand, right hand, excuse me, with a D to kind of move into where the left hand is already playing. So, so uh, G sharp, F sharp, and then left hand is E, B, and D. One and two and... So you can keep the E and the B with the left hand and then just let go of the D with the thumb and let the right hand D with the thumb and G sharp with the third finger. Okay, so let's try that again. One and two and three and, okay. Line five measure two, both hands together. So D and B with the right and then A with the left hand. One and uh, two and three and one and two and three and. 
Okay, so let's try that again. Line five, measure one. Five measure one. One and two and three and one and uh, two and three and one and two and three and okay, so let's try that again. So that's some tricky movement there, so I would probably play that several times. One more time. So I know I'm going to definitely have some trouble with that. So I would probably on my off, off time uh, just do that over and over and get real comfortable with it. Count it off. One and two and three. Okay, so let's try it again and then um, play the entirety and then we'll uh, try to play with uh, some emotion. So in line one, measure one, we'll play it nice and slowly. Okay, so I'm going to play that one more time uh, before I try to do the, record the actual performance of it. So line one, measure one. Nice, beautiful piece. Okay, so Prelude Opus 28, number seven by Frederick Chopin. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, like it, share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, click on the notification bell uh, to get notifications when I upload videos, and visit my website pianowithmichael.com to learn about my philosophies about music and how it affects the brain, and hopefully you'll be inspired to uh, get started on your musical journey.
again, thank you for watching and we'll see you again. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Visit our website for content, tips, and products. And as always, practice, but make sure it's fun.